Hello, folks, it's Lucha here, and this is New Economies. Today we are with Juan Gojardo. Uh, Juan, Hello. thank you for coming to the show. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. Thank you for coming. So you've been talking a lot lately about um, this problem that we have in public transportation and um, you know how, how it pollutes everything and how um, everything's, uh, all the cities are full of traffic. So wh why do we have this problem in the first place? Well, we have to understand that most of the cities were designed with the car as the central of access. So it's leaving in the second place to the public transport and in the third place to pedestrians and cycleways. So that's what basically generates always the traffic and that, yes, that brings course. pollution and of, everything of else. Of course, this is, this is the produce all these kind of problems. Yes, and has this been addressed in some city before? Yes, of course. Some cities like uh, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Seville, they changed uh, radically these, these things because they give him more importance to pedestrian and cycle ways and it reduced the, the pollution and traffic and they save money with all of this. Um, and why does this happen? Why, 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 why they chose to go first? Well, they, they started with uh, uh, cycle ways but the, the most important thing is that companies, the, uh, the business sector, understood that pushing that the street, making more sustainable um, and with less traffic, its customers understood that they will be grateful of that. So of course, mm -hmm. I if you think uh, on that, uh, they will have many more sales. Yes, of course, the business sector has understood that people, that we all want uh, cleaner environments to live in cleaner cities with, with cleaner air. Uh, it, is it is better. It's what uh, what's, what's trending, it's what we're going. Yes. Now, uh, we're here in New York, yes. for example. Uh, wh what, can, what can New York do? How, how can New York profit about, or, uh, about this? Well, first I, I talk about our vision. We think that we, we want to achieve that all people in the urban environment can really enjoy their activities. So, if uh, we, we focus in New York, you, you have to understand that in, in April, uh, Bill de Blasio approved that uh, electric bikes can ride on the streets. So, with this uh, action, and, uh, and in the other hand, you have 100,000 daily meals were delivered. Yes. And e-commerce is growing four times faster than uh, retail stores. Yes. You have two, so, so it, it crowds you have two everything important every, things. Even more. Yes. Yes. In conclusion, if you think that being sustainable makes you rich, that's it. That's a, that's a very good line. Yes. Sustainable, I we, like we that. We have to work on Make that. Sustainable, sustainable makes you rich. Makes you rich. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so uh, you and your team have developed a series yes. of solutions uh, yes. to, to face this problem and, and uh, sort of try to embrace uh, a new technology. So w and, and it's called Torqui, right? Yes, Torqui. What is Torqui? Well, we developed Torqui. Um, it's an urban cargo vehicle that can carry five times their uh, own uh, weight. weight. Yes, Turkey weighs only 100 pounds, can carry 500 pounds, so it's mean 500% of performance against 50% of common trucks that weigh 4,000 pounds and only carry half of it. Right. It's a very big difference. So it's like a four times, four times more, right? Four times more. So you're saying that usually we have to use the trucks that weight only uh, four times more or of the capacity it can. Yes. And Turkey would, would exactly, can you repeat that? Uh, uh, Turkey can read. Sorry, I'm saying, I'm yes. saying, let's do this again. I'm saying uh, the vehicles that we use now, Yes. you're saying that weight a thousand and they can carry 500, right? Yes. So what, what, what's the Turkey difference? 
The, the difference is that Turkey used an assisted pedaling system. Right, so like an electrical bike. Yes, it's like an electrical bike that uh, Bill de Blasio approved on these days. Yes. Well, uh, with this system, you can reach 20 miles per hour with the same effort as walking. Right. This is the, the key of the, of the system that you uh, reduce all the, the weight. So that you say that with this bill that, uh, that, that was passed here in New York, now everyone could, you know, all, all transportation could be replaced. Yes, of course. And all packaging, everything, UPS, you know, everyone could, could You, you could can use adapt to, to less weight and to, to make many modules to use to different companies and different uh, services. Yes. So it's air that's not polluted. These make almost no noise or light. No, no nothing. So it's, it's a very, very good improvement. Yes. So you have received some funding. What are, what are the plans in, in the future? Well, well, we are talking with many councils in South America to push Turkey in their cities because they understood that with uh, simple actions, they make a very big sustainable difference. So we are working on that. And if you want to change big trucks, to light, more efficient, more efficient, smart and green cargo vehicles, you can check out, check out our website. It's turkey.io. Okay, so it's it's a massive market and uh, efficiency. It's it's also it's always mandatory. Yes. Uh, in order to go to a greener world. So thank you, thank you very much for coming to the show. Thanks, thanks, Lucas. Folks, this is neoeconomist.com. I have been here with Juan Gajardo talking about Turkey. And you can uh, research, look more information about him at torkey.com. Thanks for watching.